Hello guys and welcome to the third tutorial of SAP. In the previous tutorials, I have told you about how to install the SAP GUI and how to give a request of IDES of SAP. So in this tutorial, I am gonna give you a brief history of SAP. So let's talk about what is SAP. SAP stands for System Analysis and Product Development or Data Processing. SAP is a Enterprise Resource Planning that is your ERP and what is ERP stands for? It is a collection of applications. 80% of market now these days comes on ERP under and what is ERP gonna do with SAP? So it manages all the business operations. The best known softwares for SAP now these days are SAP ERP, SAP VW and most recently SAP HANA. Thousands of mid to large companies worldwide uses SAP software to run their majority of their day to day business transactions and processes. Five farmers of IBM employees founded SAP in 1972 in Germany. Its first release was R1 and R2 as a mainframe application. SAP starts with finance application, logistics, manufacturing and human resources. There are two types of SAP consultant in SAP world R that is your functional and the another one is your technical. Under the functional consultant, there are several modules. First one is your HR, that is your human resource, CO, controlling, FI, finance, PP, that is your production planning, SD, this is your sales and distribution, and last but not the least is your, uh, what is that, MM, it's material management. And what kind of modules comes under their technical that is your basis and ABAP. Basis is connected with your networking and ABAP is your programming, totally programming. And what is ABAP stands for? It's advanced business application and programming. So let's move further. SAP work on a three tier architecture. That is your, there are three types of layer. That is your database layer, application layer and the another one is your user interface. What, how it is, so how it, is, it works, so uh, its a user interface is your desktop, so desktop give all the command to the, your application server and then application server give all the command to your database server, then database server sends all the information to application server then get back to the user interface that is your presentation layer, these all the layers are doing several work for the SAP system. All the business user comes under the employee that is your functional consultant, technical consultant. This is all about the following SAP briefer history. Thank you guys. See you in the next tutorial where we gonna where I'm gonna show you how to work with ABAP. Thank you guys.